Today I will show you 10 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone, Samsung keyboard. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you 10 different tricks on here, okay? So let's get started, let's dive in. What are the simple, simplest tricks and the most difficult tricks, advanced tricks on your Samsung keyboard? Let's get started. So the first trick is, I would like to show you this keyboard. The very, very simple way of taping on your Samsung keyboard is just use swipe, okay? Try again. Then that way, it will be faster than using just a couple fingers. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are still not using swipe. So starting from today, try to use swipe. And let's just say if you do not like to use swipe, and I'm gonna show you another features. So the, so the second feature is that I'm going to show you right now. Let's just say you type something. If I use two fingers, swipe this way, it will delete everything. If I swipe like this, it will come back. You can see that? Swipe, come back. Okay, how do I do this? You only can pick one option, either swipe key or these this features. Okay, so how do I do this? I'm gonna show you right now. So you go to the setting, and then if you see the setting right here, you can actually go to swipe, touch, and feedback. And then now we're gonna go into here. Now you only can choose one, keyboard swipe control right here. Now when you go in here, you only can pick one. You cannot pick both. So this is swipe to type. So you can use swipe to type. For me, I like this. If you do not use swipe to type, then maybe you should use this thing, cursor control. That means use two fingers, go this way to delete, use this way to re redo what you just delete. And that's it. Very simple and easy. This is the first two tricks. So let's just say if you, usually you delete something, you press delete like this, right? Now, let's just say, if I go in the middle, when you press delete, it will go backward. What if I want to delete the word at the front? Now, did you know that if you hold the, this button right there, okay, this button right there, hold it, and then press delete, you can see it's deleting the word at the front, not the back. You see that? If I hold this and delete, now it's deleting the word at the front. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Hold this and press delete. You can see the word at the front, not the back. This is a third feature. Now, if you gonna be pressing this button right there and press spacebar. Okay, hold this. You, did you know that you can highlight whatever the word you want? See that? So caption and spacebar together, okay? See that? Now you are actually swiping back and forth, okay? Hold it like this. Pretty cool, huh? Number four is let's just say somehow you have multiple keyboards. You have Key Cafe, no, you have Samsung keyboard or Gboard. Did you know that this mic here, you can actually change this. You hold this, now you can change to input method. You can change this now. Now you can tap this, you can change whatever the keyboard that you want. But I like, I love Samsung keyboard, I will stick with the Samsung keyboard. But if you have Gboard, if you have anything like this, now you can switch whatever you want and press this, go back to the Samsung keyboard. And now if you want to go back to the mic, just hold this and say force input, and then that's it. You can see now it's a force input right at the bottom. You can start speaking whatever you want. Very simple. So I showed this yesterday. You can see this right there, the happy face. You click this and you can see this blue icon right there. And now you can use this to create stickers. So I'm not gonna explain too much. If you still having trouble, make sure that you follow the video that yesterday I explained this to you, how to create um, stickers, custom stickers, by just using this button right here. When you press plus, this is everything that you need to know how to create custom stickers. You can do anything you want just on a Samsung, on a Samsung keyboard. 
Just say if you have multiple language on the keyboard, usually you just press this to change the language. What if you have multiple language, just like me, I have Mandarin, Cantonese, and English. Did you know you can just hold the, the globe? Now you can change right away. So you don't have to tap, tap, tap. You can just go like this. It's a very, very simple way of changing things. And in addition, if you have number like this at the top, and now you want fraction. Did you know that each of them, they have different fraction as well too? You can see that, right? So if you just hold it, you can see there's a different fractions. See, the number bigger is hard, but if the, the number is smaller, you can see there is so many different fractions you can choose. And then just like that, now you can actually type a proper fractions when you type to someone else. As you recognize this keyboard, you recognize these, right? Did you know that if you go right at the three dot there, there's theme. And if you go to theme, they will ask you to go to open theme park. Now, when we go to theme park, did you know you can customize each letter by each color? So you can just customize whatever you want, whatever you like. Each circle represents one color. So let's just say if I press this circle, now I can adjust whatever the color I want and then press OK. And now you can see there is different color at right there. So you can control each color on each circle, whatever you want, okay? When you press this, you can select whatever the gallery you want. Let's just say this one. And now your keyboard will change to another pictures underneath your keyboard. If you don't want that, press, press cross and then we're back to normal. Pretty simple and easy. When you finish, make sure that you press download and then put whatever the name you want and then that will be your custom keyboard. This is a very simple trick I'm going to show you right now. So let's just say if you want to capitalize your words. If you go like this, you can see the first word is capitalized, but the last couple of words is back to normal. If you want to lock it, make sure this capitalize is actually dark blue, fill okay, with color. And now when you type, you can see it's continuously capitalized. Pretty simple, hey? But if you just go like that, yes, it's highlighted, but once you press the first letter, and then after the first letter, it will back to normal again. So you want to lock it, make sure you double tap it, and make sure it looks like that. So there's one more final trick I would like to show you. If you open your keyboard, you go straight to setting, and then go all the way down. There's this, this option called save screenshot on clipboard. If you turn this on, let's just say I take a screenshot. Okay. And now if you open your keyboard, it will show you right there as well too. And if you look at the key, uh, clipboard, it shows your screenshot as well too. So it depends if you like this or not. If you want the screenshot actually integrate inside your clipboard you can do that right very simple and easy now you just tap it and then now this is your screenshot but if you do not want to do that just shut it off which i usually don't do that anyway and i will just shut it off this is just an option for you if you want that to happen so please subscribe my channel and share this video and i hope this video really helps you and this is just a 10 different features on your samsung keyboard Please stay tuned for my next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace out.